Hello there, grumpy old fart here. Doing a movie review of the movie The Exorcist. We're getting on towards Halloween, so I figured I'd do some scary ones. Uh, this movie came out in 1973. It's one of my all-time favorite scary movies. It's, this is a bona fide horror classic. If you've not seen this, shame on you. <laughs> You're missing out, okay? Uh, the plot is that two priests are called in by a terrified mother when her 12-year-old daughter is possessed. This movie is iconic and has inspired many other horror movies since, but nothing, nothing, nothing compares to this original one. This one makes you believe that the devil can possess people. It's really good. Um, the cast is extraordinary. You got Max von Sydow, Ellen Burstyn, Lee J. Cobb, Linda Blair, Jason Miller. Uh, it's... I, I wanted to do standouts in this because I do them in, in every movie that I do. Every I try to do them in every movie review that I do. So you have something to... When you're watching the show, you can look for this person and see how well they did. <clears throat> but uh, almost everybody was, was really great in this. I mean, I couldn't find anybody that was bad. Um, I, hate, I hate to keep using everybody in this was good, but, you know... So what I did is I picked three. That's a rarity. Usually I take one, maybe two. This one I'm doing three. Max von Sydow plays the elderly priest who is in a showdown with an old adversary, meaning the devil, the evil spirit, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. And you cannot go wrong with Max von Sydow in anything. He is brilliant in everything he does. And this movie is by no means no exception. Um, Jason Miller plays, plays the young priest and he is in a crisis of faith they, he goes to help this elderly priest perform this exorcism his faith he, he feels is faltering how are you going to have a battle of wills when your faith is faltering and this guy plays it well he does a really good job if you've not seen him in anything you got to check him out uh, Jason Miller is his name and he, he's a really great actor. Um, the third one, I got to go with Linda Blair. This this movie made her career, and rightly so. Uh, she is the possession victim. Really, really sold it. Um, and a lot of people don't realize this when she threw it when when it, when an actress or an actor throws everything into the role, it is a daunting, daunting. I don't want to use the term chore because, but it is their job. They get paid for it. So, but a lot of, a lot of uh, actors and actresses really think of it as an art. So when something bad happens on set, they'll play through it and keep going. Right. It's kind of like on a, on a football team. When if you, if you get, if your ankle hurts, you keep playing, you play through it because it's for the good of the team. Right. That's your job. Well, in this, if you're in the filming of this movie, uh, there was a, a machine malfunctioned and she had permanent a, a permanent back injury during filming and she played through it to continue the you know making the movie so props to her that's a hell of a thing a permanent back injury while you're making a movie and she 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 kept doing it so you know um, so if you get a chance to see this movie there are scary movies out there now that are just gore fests people getting hacked up and <clears throat> you know whatever and and and, and I'm, you know if that's what you enjoy that's great i like a little more substance to mine substance there you go the movie is the exorcist from 1973 you folks have a good day god bless one and all